Hi there, it's Henry again and today we want to talk about how you can open a bank account as a refugee. You may ask, why do I need a bank account? Well, for example, if you have a job, then you need a bank account to have your money transferred directly to it. So if you don't have a bank account, you normally can't get a job. Well, and as you can see, we are not at our white wall in our, in our studio, but at a real bank here in Germany. And I've also brought a guest, Abdullah from Syria. Hello. Hi. And uh, yeah, what we want to do now, Abdullah, is open a bank account for you. And um, in preparation for that, we have visited the bank beforehand and they gave us a checklist of things we have to bring for a successful bank account opening. It's a few documents, yes. uh, for example, a notice that you get money from the government, um, a, re a registration that you are um, registered as a refugee here in Germany, um, a bit of money for your first deposit in a bank account and a translator, that's me in this case. These conditions are not the same for every bank. It's here at the Sparkasse, we have to bring these things. So uh, for any other bank, it may be different. So it is wise to go to your bank before you uh, want to open a bank account and they will give you a checklist uh, of the things you need to bring. So now that we have everything we need, let's go inside. When you're in the bank, you will talk to a bank consultant who will guide you through the whole process. At first, he or she will talk about the terms and conditions you have to know about. For example, bank accounts normally aren't free. Just having them costs a few euros every month. Depending on the bank, you also have to pay a small fee for every transaction. This conversation is the chance to learn all about these things. Also, you can't have a negative account balance. That's one of the restrictions that are placed on these accounts. But anything else like normal transactions and electronic payment works. Well, and after you've talked about everything you need to talk about, you obviously have to fill out some forms and sign them afterwards. Don't worry if you have any questions. Um, you can always ask your bank consultant or your translator if you brought one. And well, that's how you get a bank account and a bank card. That's it for today. See you next time.